Hello, artists. Today we are going to be starting our gratitude tree for our art project, What the World Needs Now. And I definitely think the world needs some more gratitude. We went over gratitude to kind of understand what we're going to put inside of our leaves, right? The words that we are grateful for. Today we're going to start by making the tree and we're actually gonna use our hand to make it. So what I want you guys to do, and this is not done yet, just so you know, I still have to do the background, all that pretty stuff. So, I want you to turn to a clean page. You are going to be starting with a pencil. I am going to be using a Sharpie to show you better. Um, I might actually start with a pencil just to start out. We're also going to need a brown and a green marker today. So you're going to use the hand that you are not dominant. That means the hand you do not draw with. So I have my hand ready here. I can even bring my fingers up really tall, right? And this will be like the trunk of my tree and then my branches. So I'm actually going to take my rings off so those don't get in the drawing. So I'm just gonna start by tracing my hand. And as I trace my hand, you can practice going around your fingers and leave your pencil straight up. See how my pencil is straight up as I go around? So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start drawing around my hand and I'm gonna touch the paper. It's okay if your fingers look skinny because it's a tree. So it's okay if it doesn't look perfect. We can always go back and fix it. There's my hand. Right? So I'm gonna make it a little bit darker so you can see it. So there's the shape of my hand. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use that for the bottom of my tree. But I'm actually gonna take this part here and this rounded part, I'm gonna actually get rid of it because I'm gonna extend these lines all the way to the end of the paper to start making my tree. I'm gonna do the same to the others. What a fun and easy way to make a tree. So now it obviously just looks like I have really long fingers. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna make some tree branches. And how I do that is I just decide maybe this is a nice empty space and I go all the way off the page with one diagonal line. And then I leave a little bit of space and I do the same thing all the way off the page. You can either keep that line there or you can get rid of it. And look, it's already starting to look like a tree. Now I'm gonna keep doing it to the other the other branches. Maybe I would suggest about each finger should get about maybe two, one to two branches, even if it's super short. One branch can also go behind another branch and you can get super creative with it. So I'm working on each of my fingers gets a branch. Maybe even some branches grow off of my branches, right? That's how trees go. I don't have to worry about ending it. I can just let it go right off the page. didn't end up needing my Sharpie at all. Because what we're gonna do now that we're done, and when you are done, we are going to outline with the color brown, because trees are brown. So when I'm ready, I'm going to then trace all my lines 
red brown marker. Now that my hand is now a tree, I can also add some lines on my tree that, to represent the bark of the tree. And my lines can go and follow. Sometimes there's little knots. You can do little swirly lines inside of the tree. This is optional. If you don't want to do this part, that's fine. to make the leaves for my tree. So how we make a leaf, let me zoom in to show you. So how I make a leaf, I'm gonna start over here. So I make a curved line on one side and a curved line on the other side. You wanna make it big enough or make them big enough so that you can write something inside of it. Maybe once you write one, you make one, maybe you write something inside of it. So what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my mom. What else are you thankful for? I'm thankful for art. And then I'm gonna keep going. So I'm gonna keep finding places to fit the leaves. And then write something inside of it. See, that's kind of small, right? That's too small for me to write. So I'm gonna find an area thankful for teaching. I'm just going to shorten that sentence, that word a little bit, and just write teach. You can make little leaves that don't have words in them. Maybe you want to make a symbol inside of it, like a heart. And then keep moving on to the next thing. Let's see. I'm thankful for... Oh, it's too small. I can't write in there. Thankful for my friends. I suggest you write this in pencil first because um, so that if you do make a mistake, I can help you spell different words that you need help with. So you're gonna keep making your leaves um, until you think you've had enough of leaves. I'm actually gonna make a lot a lot of leaves. I am thankful for trees. I love trees. Thankful for the beach. I'm thankful for the sun. I'm thankful for you. I am thankful for Clay. I love clay. So maybe there's other things that you love to do. I'm thankful for walking. I like to go on walks. Thankful for my cat. Thankful for my dog. I am so very thankful for my home. I want you to keep doing that. 
until you fill your whole page with your thankful leaves. And when you're done, you can go ahead and trace. Now, if your marker is too thick, just try and be very careful when you trace all of your words. If your marker is too thick for this and you want to use your Sharpie, that's fine. Maybe the Sharpie's easier. But I'm just going to go ahead and trace all of my words. Now, maybe you want it to be a fall tree. You can make fall colors like red, orange, and yellow. Uh, maybe you want to do a rainbow tree. Up to you. The sky's the limit. You are the artist. You make those artistic choices. My favorite color is green. So I'm going to keep the green. Up to you. That's the super cool thing about art. You make the choices. draw some extra leaves with my marker until I feel like I'm done making all of my leaves. We are going to stop here for this lesson and we're going to pick up again on this next time.